tips and what the hell? Tips and tricks about this game. Okay, let's start from upstairs because I think that's the most important part. Number one, the garden room, also known as nursery. Right, you got all this beautiful product. It's not what you think it is. It's product. So, yeah, so basically the more you have of these, the faster the water drains. And the, the more you have to put the water in. Uh, obviously, better water bottles you have, the better off you are. I have a whole bunch of contents. So whenever you're done, you probably want to have a Ragnar if you can. I got an adventure backpack right now on me, but you put these into the the uh, Ragnar or whatever backpack you have, and you gotta go all the way down to the kitchen. You should want to do that. I grab. Oh, I need more filters. I grab uh, two to three filters, depending how many I need. You go over here, and I'm gonna show you. Oh, I can't show you the process, can I? All right, let me show you how I put water inside of my contains to give you an idea how to make this process less painful, still painful, but less painful. So you, I do two rows of four, get, a, get another one, start the water, get the, whoa, <laughs> get the first contain, right? And the moment that's almost done, put a cap, replace, go off to the next one. Wait, wait, wait. Put a cap, replace. Off to the next one. And, uh, yeah, you're probably gonna lose a little bit of water. But, um, I don't know. It's just, to me, it makes it so much faster. It is a little complicated. You have to be careful. This is why I put rows like this. It's because uh, you might hit things with your arms and hands. And uh, it's, uh, what the way this game physics uh, is, you're going to be launching <laughs> water bottles everywhere. Also, you got to be careful not to put it in front, because if you put it in front, it's going to stop the water. Like, just like that, see? I, I, I was just showing you, and it did it. So you got to be careful, because then you don't notice, and you lose a whole bunch of water for no reason. That's how I do it. It uh, takes a little bit to get used to. You will probably have some trouble at the beginning. Uh, <laughs> but uh, after a few, you get used to it and it's not that bad. So that's how I do it. And then make sure you close that. Replace the con... Where is it? The filter. Oh, I grabbed the wrong thing. Yeah, and then these are done, so I'll go on the next ones. It's, uh, well, I was gonna say simple, but it's not that simple, but it's pretty fast. As you can see, I filled up a bunch of contains in no time. So, yeah. Oh, I guess uh, when you're done with water filters, make sure you sell them because they make you a lot of money. Maintenance room for now is useless, it's just a storage room, basically. Here you can draw, because why not? Um, uh, yeah, so in this room, this room there's a lot to talk about, so I'll make it quick. Uh, rations, every 6 hours, make sure you get your rations. Every 24 hours, you get your daily rations. And every 7 days, you get your weekly. You can also make favorites. To do that, you have to go into the market. You build your gun however you want it. You put, you put a sensor, you put a side on it, you put a rail, whatever, laser, whatever you want to put on it. Uh, also, it saves the fire mode, as well as if you put ammo in it and you load it, uh, it will save that. So what I normally do, if I, if I had FMJ, if I needed to run FMJ, I would... Am I looking? I'm not even looking straight into the camera. Uh, <laughs> I, uh, I uh, get a magazine, put it in, load it, drop the magazine, get a new one in, so that way you got the plus one. You got the magazine plus one. It also saves where the grip is, where the side is. So if you're using a stock, you can just favor it. So what you do is basically once you're done, you scan it with a barcode scanner thing. You go to check out. You click on the star. When you do that, every time you come here, 
you know, it's gonna be saved just like you built it and you can also add insurance straight here but you gotta select each one individually whatever you want to do but you know it's a good way especially if you use a stock that you need the photographs to be always in a specific way it's a good way to do that and also saves you time because you don't have to go to the tabor market every time you need to get a gun or whatever so it's pretty good pretty handy um if you buy brass and I believe you can do this. Um, so you got a, a whole bunch of brass, right? You got a hundred brass. Okay. You can put it inside of there, and it should go all the way to the top, and it does. So if you see that it's not to the top, put one in the belt to return, it will go all the way to the top. That way, if you have a hundred of them, you can just click receive item, and it will show the first. 20 brass I believe the first 20 brass so if you have a brass jar or even if you don't you just want to put it in your backpack you can do like this much quicker than clicking one at a time pick it up click one at a time pick it up it makes it so much easier to just do a whole bunch of them all like that uh, or with a with a brass jar the brass jar doesn't do anything other than collect 20 brass so oh god I'm scared of throwing in the trash um, so yeah, anything you leave inside of the vault or the bunker, I guess, whatever you want to call it, the bunker, I guess. If you leave it on the ground, it will go in the kiosk, it will go back here, whenever you leave. So yeah, this is the, where you sell stuff, or if you don't know, for example, I don't know what magazine this is, I tossed it in here, it's gonna say VSS 30 round magazine. So it'll tell you that, uh, obviously it's whatever you sell stuff, it'll tell you each price. Uh, when you sell the gas, empty gas cans and empty water filters, uh, they will be the same price for every vendor. So if you haven't done good old uh, Minty, highly recommend selling most things to Minty because it's the hardest vendor to get up in Corona requirement, in my opinion. And oh, when it comes to storing, you can store armor as well as helmets, as well as guns. On these tier five is a little harder to get on here. You have to put it pretty accurately. I guess I'm used to doing it now. <laughs> I did it first try, uh, try, but sometimes it takes a little bit. Like if I do it like this, it's not gonna work. Do that, it's not gonna work. So you have to like make it in the middle. But every other, well, not every other. Uh, level two, three, and four, you can put them like this normally. I don't think level five fits. I'm not 100 percent sure. I don't think it fits. Helmets, you can store these like this. Normally, it doesn't matter. You can store them. And guns, you can store if they fit. If it's an MOA with a sensor, it's not going to fit in here. It's too big. But if it fits, you can stack one on top, and another one, and another one, and another one. And, uh, and it will save it. Just going over the stuff. Alright, so, so I like to put the food over here, because when I'm done with a raid, I can come here, eat, blah, 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 whatever. Uh, just keep in mind that when you have something, you eat it, and you leave it there. Next time it's going to have the cap back on, you can remove it, and it's always going to be full. Even if there's only one charge, it's still going to look like it's full. But then you eat it, and it's going to be completely empty. So make sure you separate what you've already had a bite of versus what's fresh, not opened at all. What I typically do, everything I put on here, I consider don't bring and raid. If I want to have stuff that I can bring in the raid, I keep it in here, in the kiosk. So these three tangerine cans have never been used. These ones, they may have been, they may have not been. I'm just going to use them whenever whenever I'm not in raid, just for safety. Last thing you want to do is be in raid and then you eat a tangerine and it ends earlier than usual. And uh, then you're looking around for food, which has happened to me. And it sucks. Uh, also, I think I was supposed to go upstairs, and not this part. Well, there's not really much for this. Uh, go on the wiki and check these numbers. I don't remember exactly, but I think uh, by default this is 16, 16 hours per gas can. And then when you get level 3 generator, you get 24 hours, I think. Uh, and each gas can is like a third, so it usually lasts like 3 days. Don't take my word. I don't normally run it empty though, I just, every day, I just do like this, like this, I open it, and I leave it like this, and then come back uh, a couple minutes later as I'm doing other stuff, and then I get this, and I go sell it, the empty, the empty gas can. Uh, there's not too much about this, uh, it's just, uh, 
figure out what you can put on here so you can put weapon attachments you can put pistols you can put magazines there's not too much you cannot put guns on these right here the the ones on the wall you can put them on the other ones that i should god damn it on the ones that i showed earlier um, oh yeah the only thing i have well, actually there are a couple things here these nobody knows when well, i know but a lot of people don't know about these storage uh what do you call these things? I don't know. Whatever. This, these things. Nobody knows about these. They're actually kind of useful. Huh? Drawers? Yeah, drawers. And the last one is actually pretty big. So they're actually kind of useful. And I honestly, I don't use storage. I sell everything. Because I already know what I like. I like what I don't like. I just sell everything. Uh, yeah, well, this is obvious crap. The only thing I have to say about this is that this brass and this powder thing have a meter. You can kind of read if you get it close. So each press gives you one, obviously. And each one of these canisters gives you 30. So, and then whenever you make ammo, one brass, five gunpowder, and they give you 50 bullets. No matter what it is, I think. Maybe the shells might be an exception. I don't remember. Maybe the shotgun shells might be an exception. I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, and that's it. There's nothing else to do, and no, nothing to talk about in, in this room, to be honest. I don't even have Armory 3 because I sell everything. Because already, like I said, I already know what I like, I know what I don't like. Sell everything. Oh, here you make uh, bandages, you put toilet paper, <laughs> you close it, you press the button and it does bandage. And here you make uh, NRSs, you put the product, okay? The product, not what you think it is, it's a product. You put it in here, you close. <laughs> You press the button after it's done, you open, put that in, close, close, put the new product in. Do not recommend doing this at level 20, do it at level 21. Because at level 20 you get 2, at level 21 you get 3. So you're missing on 50% of your profit if you, uh, for one level, not worth it. Just get the damn level and and sell 50% more. Yeah, see, we need to cook. Yeah, we gotta cook. And, uh, yeah, NRS make... NRS is the best way to make money in this game. The only other thing that's comparable is crypto mining, but you have to find GPUs, and everybody will kill you for them. So, <laughs> NRS is you can just make it. Nobody's gonna say anything, nobody's gonna see it, nobody's gonna touch it. You just... Only thing is, you have to log in every day, basically, to put water in. If you put less plants, if you know you're not gonna be around too much, you can put just one planter. And it's going to consume water much slower, also depending on utility level. Because it's got the normal level, which is how many plants you can plant. And then utility level, which is water efficiency. Uh, yeah, and the same way with, with uh, NRS crafting, I think. Yeah, because level 2... I don't remember too well. I think level 2 gives you NRS crafting. And then utility level increases how many you can craft.